winter is coming. Actually, that's a lie. It's already here. And nice and cold outside. Ooh. So today, figured it'd be a good time to talk about some cold words and winter expressions. <laughs> Cold words? What do you mean, what are cold words? What are cold words? Cold wor words that have to do with cold. I think we should go out there. So we decided to do this lesson today because it's cold outside and, well, it's a good time to talk about the cold. <laughs> Ioana really likes the cold, but... Uh, I like snow. Uh, I'm not a huge fan. Where'd you go? I'm here. There was so much more this morning. The first word is bundle up, which is this, what I'm doing right now. Bundle up means to take all of the clothes that you have in the closet and put them on. Just kidding, but it means to just really, really, really uh, put on some warm clothes because it's cold. So you have to bundle up, put on a hat, a scarf, gloves, jacket, boots, I don't know, just bundle up, put on put on some warm clothes because it's cold outside. You feel cold? No, it's not that cold. Because you're all bundled up? I'm bundled up, so Wait, I'm not cold. Wait, don't tell them that it's not that cold. That's what we're, it's supposed to be really cold outside. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's freezing. Oh, why don't you, just throw, why don't you just throw a snowball at me? Often in winter when it's snowing, people will build a snowman. Gummy nose. Another uh, common winter word, especially when there's snow outside, is slush. And slush is just when the snow starts to melt and it kind of, yeah, makes this weird sound. And we have slush. In the slush. We have having fun. Wait, are you gonna be, what, what are you doing? Where are you going? <laughs> okay. I was just hiding. So when, we're talking about the weather and it's cold outside. There are varying degrees that we can use depending on how cold it is. So the first one, if, if it's not really that cold outside, somebody might say that it's chilly or you could say that it's also nippy, nippy outside. Do you ever say it's nippy outside? Nippy? <laughs> nippy, nippy. And I, actually, I don't think that one's as common, just so you know, in case you might hear it. Uh, so chilly and nippy are kind of like, it's, it's just a little cold out. And of course, uh, probably the most common thing to say is just, it, it's cold. Like today, it's cold outside. You can see the snow. But if you wanna say it's really cold and emphasize just how cold it is, you could say it's freezing outside. Like, wow, it is really, really cold. It's freezing. We could also use a simile to talk about how cold it is. And that's when we just compare two things that are not alike. So you could say that it is as cold as something. And frequently people might say it's as cold as ice because ice, ice is really cold. You could also say maybe it's as cold as, what would you think? It's as cold as? Uh, in Canada, the North Pole, <laughs> I don't know. And depending on how informal you wanna be, you could also throw some profanity at the end there and just say, it's cold as fuck. Now this one, everyone uses a lot. <laughs> it's true. Cold AF, you can also say that. Do you wanna get out there? Yeah, let's go. Go, go, get out there. I don't have skates. A common word that comes up all the time when we're talking about winter is ice. So I have an expression for you uh, that has to do with ice. Uh, it is on thin ice. So when somebody's on thin ice, we say that uh, they're in kind of a dangerous situation. Uh, for example, when Wes uh, keeps saying stupid things, many times I'll say to him, Wes, you're on thin ice, which means if you <laughs> say something stupid one more time, I'm going to get really, really mad at you. But I never fall through the ice, and that's very important. <laughs> so that's a great use of <laughs> you're on thin ice. If he says one more stupid thing, he'll end up sleeping on the couch. It's not true. Yes, it is. It's not true. Yeah, it's you're, true. you're on thin ice. You're on thin you're, ice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Another expression that has to do with the cold is to give someone the cold shoulder. And this just means to ignore someone or not pay attention to them. You would give them the cold shoulder. And sometimes when Yuana is on thin ice, I will <laughs> give her the cold shoulder. <laughs> That's, That's not how that works. I just, not true. I don't pay attention nope, to her. Not I give true. her the cold shoulder. Nope. True story. Nope. True story. You can't just say through story. It doesn't make it true. <laughs> it nope. does make it true. No. Nope. It does make it true. Can you? All right. Put my hat on. It's, it's cold. You can just oh. say AF. <laughs> you don't have to. Cold AF? Yeah. You don't have to I don't say know. cold I'm not, as I'm not that cool to say cold AF, I don't no, think. No, you're not cool. That's true. <laughs> you're not cool, you're cold. Get it? I'm like full of puns today. Full of funds? Puns. Oh. Wordplay. You said funds. Puns. <laughs> what? It's a word in the English language. Good. I said you're not cool, you're cold. Get it? He doesn't get it. It's okay. <gasps> Look! Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh no. She's so slow. She's so slow. I can run with the camera and she still won't catch me. Hit the brakes, they fly right on by. Did you like my, my Top Gun reference right there? This is it, Maverick! I'm gonna hit the brakes, she'll fly right by. Yes, it was pretty long. I tried to ignore it, but you wouldn't let it go. <laughs> I think it's gonna freeze our butts if we sit on this bench. Which bench? There's no bench. Okay, so another expression that's related to the cold is cold feet. And of course this means that your feet are so cold. No, it's not. It's not really what it means. So cold feet, uh, you say, we say cold feet like we get cold feet. So um, many times it means that you are how do I put this? So we say that you get cold feet when uh, before like a major event uh, you get nervous, you have a lot of anxiety about this event and many times, especially now, people uh, refer to getting cold feet before they get married. So it's very common. Everyone's always asking, oh, did you get cold feet before you married Wes? And I answer, yes, of course. <laughs> I was terrified. He's so scary. Look at him. I had cold feet. Did you? Well, my feet, well, literally, my feet were literally cold. It was a very cold day in New York. It was a very cold yeah. day, yeah, when we got married. But you can also get cold feet before like a, a really a really big presentation yeah. or like a speech or... But just about always, it's used to talk about marriage. Yeah, now, mostly marriage. I'm okay. Oh, it's cute. Also, if you guys are wondering what's this gorgeous background behind us, uh, we are in Budapest. Uh, it's a beautiful city and we love it and that's what I wanted to say if you're wondering where we are and it's so cute and pretty. The last cold expression that I have for you is a very very common one and that is just to catch a cold. So cold is a word that has multiple meanings. It could be talking about the weather but it could also mean when you are sick and you say that you have a cold or you can get a cold or even catch a cold. This is an expression that we often use, getting a cold. Uh, I just want to say from the outside, it looks like there's a crazy man just kind of giving a lecture to a phone. It's pretty funny. Where? Oh, oh, you're talking you? about me? Yes, I was talking about you. <laughs> so we hope you enjoyed this lesson about winter and the cold and the words and expressions. So in the comments, we want you to write what is your opinion about the cold? Do you love it like me or indifferent to it like Wes or do you hate it? Okay, so let us know, write it in the comments. Love hearing from you guys. Yeah. And as always, please like and share this video and that's all I got. We'll stay warm, time. stay warm, stay warm, and bundle up. Maybe I'm bouncing. No, you're not. We're bouncing or balancing. So we say that you get gold, gold feet. So <laughs> it's not true. You can frolic in the snow. You can frolic on the Arctic. You can frolic wherever you want. You just frolic. Have you ever frolicked in the snow? If so, let us know. Burn it tonight.